In this project, we're going to explore Soundtrap a lot more and also a bunch of musical concepts. Stay tuned. So the first thing that I want you to look at is the section track. Now, every project that you have will have sections laid out. And so we have the intro, we have the verse, and we have the chorus. And so the first concept is one known as bars. Now, what are bars? Well, these numbers up here represent bars. So for example, the intro starts at bar one, and it's two bars long because it starts at one, it's one full bar is one to two, and the second full bar is two until the beginning of three. So that's two full bars long for the intro. Now the verse starts at bar three and it goes until the end of bar 10. So it's eight bars long. And the chorus is also eight bars long. There's a bunch of different things on this track. There's a volume control. There's this button right here. If we hover over, it says solo this track. We can mute the track. And there's a bunch of other features as well. So if we click on solo, you see how every other track um, becomes kind of uh, a muted color, whereas this track is brighter. So that means this is the only track that will play. So if I move the playhead right to 21, I can listen to the kick. Okay. And we can do the same thing for the snare. We can even solo two different things at the same time if we wanna hear how they sound together. So what we're trying to do in this project is we are trying to build towards the chorus. The chorus needs to be our biggest section. The intro needs to be pretty light and low in volume. The verse is gonna gradually increase. And then the chorus is where the music is really going to explode. Now, how do I know if something is has a lot of energy or has only a little bit of energy? Well, we can usually tell by the amount of notes that they have. So with these pre-constructed sections, you can think of every one of these white uh, kind of things as being a note, so to speak. All right. And so that means this one, this snare one is more energetic than snare two. Hard to tell with the hi-hat because there's a lot of activity going on in all of them, but you can hear, you'll definitely be able to hear it. And then the crash, for example, crash number one is more energetic than crash two, which only has what looks like a single sound at the beginning. So let's solo the kick and listen to what a couple of them sound like. Here's the snare. Here's the hi-hat. Here's the crash. The crash is just a symbol. The kick is also known as the bass drum, but I'll use that terminology from here on out. All right, so I'm gonna look for a really energetic kick, which looks like kick one. And we're gonna learn a couple more shortcuts because what we wanna do is we wanna keep all these Lego building blocks over here, and we wanna simply copy them into place. So I'm gonna copy it to the beginning of the chorus by clicking on this, pressing Command C, or if you're on a Windows computer, Control C, that copies it. Then I wanna make sure I'm on the kick track. So now I'm on the snare track, now I'm on the kick track, and we need to line up the track that we're on as well as the playhead. Take a look at what happens when I'm on the snare track. See it pastes on the wrong track. It pastes on the snare track. The kick needs to stay on the kick track. Okay, so I'm gonna line up right there. And these regions, each of these regions are four bars long and you can just kind of count the squares here. One, two, three, four. So I'm gonna take another one and I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna paste it right after that. Because remember our chorus is eight bars long. It goes from the beginning of 11 to the end of 18. So now we have two sections. What we don't want is we don't want things like this. I'm gonna undo, so Command Z or Control Z is undo. We don't want things starting halfway through bars or halfway or in weird spots in the uh, sections. They should start at the beginning of a section and the middle of a section. 
So I'm gonna add a snare, and this one's really energetic, so I'm gonna add it halfway through. I want the second half of the chorus to be even more energetic than the first. So we want a nice increase in terms of energy. And then I'll take um, this snare, and I'll use that for the first half of the chorus. And now I'm not sure what the hi-hat sounds like, so I'm gonna solo this, and I wanna listen to some of them. That's pretty energetic. Not as energetic. So far, the first one is the most energetic. Okay, so I'm going to take the first one because it seems to be the most energetic, and I'm just going to use that twice. So here and here. Let's hear what we have so far. I'm going to start in bar 10. All right, now if you can't hear your drums properly, what you don't want to do is you don't want to crank up the drums too much. Just turn things down. That's actually usually the best approach. So I can see that these... Let me listen to this a little bit more. Okay, so I hear those horns, that's the brass. Once again, you can just solo the instrument so you can see if that's the one that's, that's too loud. All right, I'm gonna add some crashes. So I'm gonna add this and I'll use this lighter one over here. All right, so remember with the chorus, you always want kick and snare together. Okay, let's take a look at the verse. So if we just look at these waveforms, we can see that Throughout the verse, we have the acapella, that's the singing or the rapping. The first half of the verse, we have nothing for the bass, and then the bass comes in. So you can even see with the instruments, they're gradually being added. So acapella and this plucky thing first, that's it. And then we add a bass, and then we add a piano. So now we have four things going on. And then the chorus, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus our drums. Okay, so that's 13 different things going on in the chorus. So we're gonna do the same approach with the drums. I'm not gonna have as many things going on maybe in the first half of the verse, maybe a little bit more in the second half of the verse, and the intro will be even less, okay? So I'm gonna, uh, let's see, let's take a lighter kick, like this one, like kick four. We'll put it there. And I'm gonna pair it with the snare, because I still want the snare to be there, so I'm gonna use uh, the snare and then I'll use a really light kick for the first half of the verse and also a light snare. And maybe I don't even want snare, maybe I just want kick there. Or maybe I don't want kick, I just want snare. Play around with it and listen to how it sounds. So let's hear from the beginning. Back when I was only new. We only have four things, right? So you can see how yeah, there's a lot more energy here because now we have one, two, three, four, five, six things playing, whereas before we only had four, and these were lighter sections. Here it comes. Okay, so I like how that sounds so far. Now, there's a weird thing about this song is that usually the intros in most of the projects that I'll give you uh, will be four bars long, but this song only had a two bar intro. So what that means is, um, I'm gonna take something and I'm gonna shorten it. So uh, I'll actually take just the snare. I'm gonna make it in half and fit it there because this is just two bars. And then I'm gonna copy it, whoops, I'll copy it. 
because I want to still use that at bar three. And now just expand that back. Okay, so let's listen to how that sounds now. Back when I was only no. If you only knew, we was living broken, so confused. Had broken through, we was living by the Gonna add one more thing here. Gonna add some hi-hat. Can you hear what this crowd sounds like? So maybe if we want more of that, we can turn that up. So the things that we learned in this lesson, we learned how to understand bars and how long sections are. We learned about the various elements of the drums. So the kick and the snare, they go together hand in hand, especially when we want a really dominant beat. And hi-hat, the crash definitely adds a lot of energy as well. Um, the hi-hat adds some energy. Every, every piece adds energy. And so you can see we started with just one section so we have one instrument playing plus one drum section playing. So two different instruments. Then we have one, two, three, four, and then we have six, and then we have 13. And so you can see how the piece is gradually growing. And that's really, really important in your compositions. Stay tuned for more.